Thank you for taking your Saturday night and to hang out with me. This truly means um, so much to me. So you guys know me as Karen from I'm Karen O, but today I'm going to put on a different outfit and share with you guys a part of my life that I really haven't shared too much about. I talk a lot about my personal life. You guys know Leo, you guys know Dove, but what you guys don't know is my family and um, where I was when I was a teenager. So let's talk all things um, silver lining missions because this is actually a huge part of my life. As you guys can see, this is my family. My dad, my mom, my sister and brother, and there you go. I'm on the left-hand side. So in 2005, um, I was 15 years old and I actually went to China with my family. Um, we left everything in America and sold our house and we moved into this um, city. At the time, it was quite small. It's called Nanning in Guangxi in China. You guys can Google it later. It's so different 15 years ago compared to now. Now it's like a bustling city, but back then it was super rural. Um, and right there, <laughs> that pixelated picture, that is me. Um, at the time, my high school situation um, was online classes. I'm sure you guys are familiar with online classes now, but y'all like 15 years ago, online classes was a whole different situation. Um, it didn't exist really. Um, and I wasn't technically homeschooled because I actually went to school with other kids um, that are similar to me. Um, and if you can go back to the slide, um, I actually graduated with one other girl and she's um, two girls next to me right there. Her name is Missy. And both of us walked down the graduation aisle and I was the first to graduate from this school called Nanning Tutoring Center. And there were just like five of us in high school. It was pretty insane. So that was my high school experience. I, I guess I'll talk more about it later on on my YouTube channel, but it was pretty different. Um, moving on to the next slide. I think this is where um, these are the kids that I met when I was in China. And they are very special to me because um, these are the disabled orphans that my parents introduced me to. My mom actually um, went to China 15, 16 years plus years ago and saw them for the first time. And less than two months after we left everything in China and we moved there. And I became really good friends with some of these people. Um, they're very special and unique to me. Um, and I'm going to actually introduce my dad, who is actually the founder of Silver Lining Missions. And he's going to talk a little bit more about Silver Linings. Um, right below me is Chris. Hi. Hi, Karen. Hi. I'm so excited to, uh, uh, to I can meet with your friends. So, uh, you know, Karen, I'm, uh, as a parent, we are really appreciate that you're willing to follow us to go to China. I know it's not easy in, you know, back to 15 years ago. So, uh, you know, uh, I just want to tell you, we are, as a parent, we are so appreciate for your support. Without your support, we cannot help a lot of, uh, too, so many children over there. And uh, these children, they may still in this very suffer. It takes Ha Ha with only one working hand and a couple like fingers um, that are also burned off. It takes her about a week to create a bag like this. This is super duper intricate, so many beads. Um, and I mean, I, I don't even wanna try to attempt doing something like this, but she can do it. And she's just one of the girls that you guys will be supporting um, her livelihood and providing a career for, um, and just giving her something to be really proud of. Um, so if you guys um, want to support them and help them continue to have jobs, um, you guys can definitely support them by purchasing these bags because all of the proceeds go back to these girls. Um, and you guys will be doing a really great thing. Um, you guys can actually check out this 
link right here. Just take out your phone or screenshot this right now. And you guys can check out these bags. There are only about like 20 that's made right now because it just takes so long to do. Um, but I think it would be like a really great Christmas gift for some of, and there's a really beautiful story behind it and all the proceeds go back to these girls. So my dad just kind of, um, she, he briefly mentioned that there is a civil war still ongoing in Myanmar and um, because of the civil war, there um, is a lot of, sorry, <laughs> this is a really hard topic to talk about. I think this topic is extra hard for me to talk about because um, as a new mom, it's just really tough to imagine. Dev, you guys know Dev, um, my daughter to be in a situation that is um, so unfortunate. And because of the civil war in Myanmar, there's a lot of children um, that get separated from their families and some of them um, are caught in addiction, drug addiction, and some of them are even um, part of human trafficking. Um, this little boy right here is just one example of um, a, a kid that got separated from his family. And the unfortunate thing with um, some children is that they get to do drugs for free and these people get them hooked onto drugs and then they become um, addicted they become stuck to this lifestyle and it's just really really heartbreaking um just trigger warning because this video um, is a live video and if you guys don't want to see a, ch a child um, smoking, um, I suggest, I recommend you to just close your eyes for the next five to 10 seconds. Um, but I feel like it's important to show the reality instead of masking and pretending it doesn't happen just because it's tough to see. But this is just a boy who's separated from his family and taking drag out of a bottle. Um, a lot of them are you know, addicted to heroin, the hard drugs, because um, drug drug trafficking is a really huge problem in Myanmar. Also, human trafficking is also a really huge problem. And there's just so many um, broken families, so many children that are that need a home um, and that need rehabilitation. And this is where um, Silver Lighting Missions um, found a gap where we can come in and take these children in away from these situations and um, they're not forced into child labor or in these really horrible situations. Last year, you and uh, we appreciate that Neil and you come to visit Myanmar Silver Lining Village. So do you still remember? Uh, we are so excited and I, there's a, there has a lot of touching moment, right? Yeah. Um, um, last year, last year, some of you may know, cause I actually shared this on Instagram. Um, I actually went to Myanmar and I got to meet, okay, not this many kids because this year it actually grew a lot more, but last year when I went, I met a good amount of these kids and they're super, so super duper cute. So sweet. Um, so polite. One of the most polite children. They invited me to their home and showed me their beds and their backpacks. And they're so proud of like um, their little cubbies. And um, I even shared um, dinner with them. We sat around in a round table and their house parents cooked us a meal. It was so, so sweet. And I actually have a video to share with you guys. Um, so instead yeah. of just describing, I want to show you guys. So do you remember this girl? She's called she's called Wu Wei Ming. Oh uh, yes, uh, yeah. I do. I remember her, yeah. Yeah, she's she uh, her she she was really suffer, but as as long as she uh, come join come to the Silver Lining family village, her life is totally different. I want to show you and your fans uh, about Mu Wei Mu uh, Mu Wei Ming story.
When I am at home, I don't have enough food to eat every day, and I don't have enough clothes to keep me warm. I also don't have friends and don't get to go to school. Hello, my name is Mu Hui Min. I am 12 years old. When my father passed away because of cancer. One day, her father called by her bedside. Hui Min, come here. Her father sat up anxiously and Hui Min helped him sit. He hugged Hui Min. He hugged Hui Min and passed away in her arms. He was sick and couldn't move. When he wanted to get out from bed, I went to support him. He leaned against me and fell asleep. I wasn't sure why. Why did father fall asleep? I went to call my sister Hui Shu to look for my uncle. When my uncle came, he told me, Your father has passed away. Tragedy continued. Her family was hurt and sad. Hui Min had another younger sister that was only two years old. I have two sisters. The youngest one is only two years old, but she... Because we are so poor, we are not able to keep ourselves full. So my sister got sick and passed away. Soon after her father's passing, Hui Min's mother abandoned the rest of the family. One day, her mother went outside and never came back home. After their mother left, Hui Min and her orphaned sister finally came to Silver Lining Family Village. I really like the Silver Lining Family Village because in the family village, I'm happy and enjoy my life every day. I'm healthy and have a mother and a teacher. Joining Silver Lining Family has been a big blessing to her. Hui Min studies harder than any of the other students. Every time she dances, she always stands in the first row to lead everyone else. She is very talented and very cute. We wish that she will become an outstanding, unique child. I'm very grateful for them. When I came to Silver Lining Village, it changed my life in many ways, like my manners and education. I learned a lot. I hope I can keep improving. I love to dance because dancing makes me happy and joyful. I can dance and play with my friends. I am full of joy. When I grow up, I want to be a professional dancer. I love dancing, so I dream to be one. I will continue to work toward my dream and work hard. Thank you, Father Yearn and Mother Yearn. I love you. Thank you for bringing me to a warm home in the Silver Lining Family Village. I'm sure um, watching that video, it was not easy. <sighs> Definitely was not easy for me. Um, so it means that story is actually just one of the many that um, 
are so unfortunate like that. Actually, when my mom and dad, sometimes they come home from Myanmar and they um, open up and share some of these stories to me, it's really tough to hear them because they're all like, so unfortunate like you think like wow we're in the 21st century it's 2020 like do these things seriously still happen I feel like a lot of us are in such a bubble that we don't think that these things happen but these things are happening today right now and um without um a village an orphanage somewhere to silver lining missions there's they would still be stuck in those situations. Um, and it's crazy to think that just $38 um, a month can change a girl's life like that. I mean, is um, about 10 years old. She's still so young and there's still so much ahead of her. And I think it's amazing that she has a dream to be a dancer, to do something creative. I mean, that's kind of the... The world I'm in right now and if there's anything that I want to um, give for these kids is the, the ability and um, a choice to have a future and you guys can actually be a part of that and help them. Um, not only will you guys be helping um, someone like Hui Min, um, the future of hopefully Wendy becoming a dancer, um, the $38 a month will also provide her education um, so that a child like her will not be on the streets, will not be stuck, uh, caught up in drugs or human trafficking. You guys are taking these children off of the streets so that they have a roof over their head, that they have clean clothes to wear. I mean, just the basic necessities of just having clean water and having a meal to feel full. It's, it sounds so basic. And you can't even believe it um, in 2020, but it is the reality um, that these children have. Um, and the crazy thing is, I think Silver Lining is so blessed because we do have the facility to house these many children, but we just keep getting more and more and more each year. As you guys can see from 2017, it's just three years later, it grew exponentially. So the, the need is there and there's so many like children, the youngest I've met when I was at the village was three years old who all need your help. Um, and honestly, even $5 can make such a huge difference. $5 is like a cup of Starbucks. Um, so if you guys feel the urge, um, just feel like um, there's something that's tugging at your heart to help, um, you guys can check out this link right here. Um, and you guys can take your phones out right now, screenshot it, or take your camera open, and you guys can go to the GoFundMe and donate now. Um, I have an, This is an ongoing campaign that I want to do on my YouTube channel, on my social media for the next several months. Um, the goal is to hit $30,000, which I know it sounds like a really huge, hefty number, but I think as I keep talking about this, um, we can reach the goal because um, you guys will be really changing so many lives. I am at Summer Special in Myanmar right now. Take a look, you guys. Yeah! Yay! I'm thinking, baby, you. That's underneath I'm free Falling all in you Fell for men who weren't how they appear mm. Trapped up on a tightrope Now we're here We're free Falling all in you I just want to thank you guys so much for sticking around and taking your Saturday night hangout with me. As you guys can see, I'm still teary because um, this stuff is just like so um, important and we definitely shouldn't take it lightly. Just want to thank you guys for um, joining me today and um, being a part of this evening with me. Um, 
you guys can definitely go to GoFundMe. You guys can start donating at just $5, which is like a Starbucks cup. And that will really make a huge difference to these children's lives. And um, don't forget to check out the jewelry link up there too. And just want to thank you guys so much again. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.